Hi, I'm Bruce and just over a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week we get the stove in the yurt and move out of the cottage. Settling into our new home we get cosy and ready for winter. If you're new here, why not click the subscribe button and become part of our ever-growing community. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. This week's quite an exciting one as well actually because we're going to get the stove into the air and pack up our things and move out of the house. And I don't think I actually mentioned it last week but Annie was away over the weekend on her first block of eco-psychology. So glad to have her back, an extra pair of hands to be helping me lift this stove. And you can tell that this stove is more appropriately sized with the fact that I can actually pick it up whereas the other one needs a couple of people to move it. So yeah. Let's get cracking. So something quite unexpected has happened. Um, I needed to try and align the canvas for the uh, roof flashing, and uh, so that meant I had to separate the wall from the um, uh, from the roof canvas. And I put my hand in droppings, and I thought, oh, for goodness sake, the bloody mice or something I got in here. And then as I moved around, flies in there, very upsetting. And then out dropped a bat. And then another one. So there's two bats that I found living in the skirt of the yurt, which is not ideal. Um, luckily I have a friend um, not far from here who's a park ranger and park conservation, so I'm gonna give her a call and see what she thinks we should do with them. Can I bite? Yeah. They're so Are you happier with that if you're just looking at it in general? Yeah, then? come over here and see with me and move it. Oh, it's where I find it difficult. Well, look, if you prefer it that way, you prefer it that way. I know, but that. I'm finding it difficult to make like a decision. Well, you've just made a decision. Yeah, but what if I don't like it that way? If you want this fitted by tonight, <laughs> we better decide. Okay, go for it. That position, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, it needs to be tweaked anyway. It needs to come over this way and forward a little bit. I'm scared of making the wrong choice. There isn't a wrong choice. There's no such thing. You're not having any input. It's because really. I don't care.
So that has taken me a bit longer with the whole kind of bat thing going on. They actually both flew up and didn't come back, so I'm not 100% sure what to do about that. But uh, hopefully there's no more in there. I would never thought that we'd have bats living in the canvas of a yurt, but there you go. So yeah, we planned on moving into the yurt today, but I don't think that's going to happen because the sun's going down a bit earlier than when we were in the summer. So. But I think we will have a little test light of the fire and maybe some food in here and then we'll move in tomorrow. Do it again because I wasn't um, focused in on you. I feel a bit silly now. No, do it. I can't remember what it was. It was about it. Actually, before I do anything, I need to translate the manual from Lithuanian. I'm going to get on the old Dugal translate. It would be good even if it was in a language that I could speak. But it's... What, like English? <laughs> or French. <laughs> or Irish. Oh, I wouldn't get very far with the Irish. I get hello and this is mine and thank dog you. and horse <laughs> and thank you yeah, and goodbye and all that, but I don't think that would help me here. Uh, Saw the chimney smoke drawer. In the beginning, the operation of the stove may be affected by nearby mountains. 30 centimetres. For fuel, we recommend using any dry, fluffy ones. Moisture content of the. That's what it says dry, fluffy ones. Dry, fluffy ones. Look, I'm not making it up. Right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Me and the family are going to have a games night and some picky bits for tea. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Today is moving day. And uh, luckily for me, my neighbour Pad had come over and give me a hand moving this big mattress into here. He does actually recommend um, moving any big bits of furniture into the yurt uh, before you assemble it to make life easier. But we don't like an easy life around here. Plus it wasn't really very convenient for that to be happening, but anyway, now to take these beds apart and the other bits of furniture and get ourselves moved in. Are you gonna get it now? activities. What's that off? It's off the front of the step But this time guys, my place is not for throwing pillows in. 
You always <laughs> do it. <laughs> you love it. Right, we're all set and ready for our first night in the yurt. It's actually a bit of an end of an era, really, because the next time we're in the house, the kids are probably going to have their own bedrooms. So now we're all in one giant bedroom instead of one tiny bedroom. And we're christening the night with a projector night, watching a couple of episodes of The Simpsons before reading the books and going to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, that was our first night in the year, and if I'm being totally honest, I didn't sleep all that well last night. Um, but I don't think that's the yurt's fault. It's just me not dealing with change, but that's kind of in my personality a little bit. Anyway, before I go, Elsie has been asking and asking for me to show you that she has opened her own little crochet shop, and she's wondering if anybody out there would be interested in buying her crochet toys. I need you to earn a little bit. <laughs> I said I'm recording. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm recording you. Okay, I need you to earn a little bit of extra money because I'd like to save up for a spinning wheel. And because it's October, nearly Halloween, I've decided to make pumpkins. Um, it's three euro for a small one, four euro for a medium one, and for a large, it's five euro. Um, you can add the key ring for fifty cent. I'm done. So yeah, if you're interested in supporting Elsie, uh, saving up for a spinning wheel, which um, she forgot to add that she's going to be trying to start her own little business making biodegradable toys, uh, and she wants to do the whole thing from start to finish, so spinning the wool, crocheting, stuffing, selling, the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in supporting her, I'll put my email address in the description of this video, and you can send me an email, and we can get one sent over to you. Anyway. That's it for this week. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week where potentially we could be starting the other side of the roof of the cottage. Goodbye.